Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be talking about some summer fashion trends. Now before I do start I want to say I'm using my old, my other camera so we'll see how it works before I had problems with the autofocus and stuff so we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works out well. Also it's very windy outside so I do apologize if the audio quality is a bit weird. I'm using the mic so hopefully it kind of blocks a lot out. Anyways like I said I'm going to be talking about some fashion trends for the summer. Now, I'm no fashion critic, no journalist or anything like that. It's just things that I did a little bit of research, got some articles from magazines like GQ, Vogue, etc. And then just from my own personal experience and what I'm seeing on social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Before I do get started, subscribe if you're new, hit that thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate all the support lately. I apologize, I've been a little MIA, but hopefully you're gonna get back into it. Said. Just gonna start off with some trends. Now I'm gonna unfortunately or fortunately talk about Adidas Sambas, but that will be a little bit later on in the video. First thing that I'm going to talk about is going to be like jorts. Now I think last summer they started to pick up in popularity. Personally, I didn't own any at the time. I still don't actually, but I know on TikTok especially, jorts were definitely prevalent in the TikTok fashion scene towards the end of last summer. And this summer they've come back with a vengeance. I know a lot of brands are doing them. The first ones that popped to mind are Stussy. I think they sold out like almost instantly when they did them on their first summer drop a few weeks back. But jorts, I know a lot of people are on the fence. Maybe they don't like them. Maybe they do like them. Personally, I actually do like them. I think they're a good alternative to like an athletic short or just like a basic short. You can definitely spice up your wardrobe with a pair of jorts, whether they're jeans that you cut off, whether they're specifically made jorts already. I don't know if you saw my vlog from a few weeks back or maybe a month ago now. I was on the hunt for some shorts and I tried on a variety, a number of different pairs of jorts. Uh, the Orsola ones were my favorites. I haven't bought any just yet, but I do have a pair of shorts coming in. They're not jorts, but they're like double knee shorts. So jorts, um, not only that, but baggy shorts, big baggy shorts. Um, I have this JW Anderson pair that are incredible. They kind of give off like a skirt vibe as well, but big baggy shorts, lots of room in the thighs, obviously down around the knees. I know the past couple years, the five inch inseams have been very popular. They still are, Patagonia baggies, stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I still like that short, but I do like the longer, bigger, baggier shorts as well. Just adds a different dimension, different shape to the outfit. Um, definitely can't go wrong, especially in the summer. Obviously, it's very hot and you don't want to wear jeans or trousers all the time. So, big baggy shorts slash jorts. Uh, very popular this summer and hopefully I can get my hands on some soon. Obviously, it's June, almost July now, I think. So, hopefully I can grab some soon before we get too late in the season and then it's time to wear some sweatpants again. Okay, now this will be the part of the video where I'm going to talk about Adidas and the Samba to an extent. Obviously, very, very trendy shoe over the past year or two. Um, this can be highlighted by seeing stores like Ritzia sell them, and of course they sell instantly. Uh, I know Ritzia gets a bad rap for selling and ruining shoes like New Balances, Salomons, etc. But in my opinion, you can't really ruin a Samba. They've been around for ages. They're gonna to continue to be around for a very long time. Obviously, they started off as like an indoor football shoe. I think they've always had a steady popularity, and in the past few years, um, thanks to TikTok or Instagram, they have kind of skyrocketed and we're seeing that with collabs such as Wells Bonner, Kith, Sporty and Rich. Um, I feel like everybody is doing an Adidas collab right now and if they do an Adidas collab, they're definitely going to look towards the Sambas. Now, if you don't want to go down the route of the Samba, you can definitely go Gazelles, Speciales, um, the Adidas Bermuda, I believe it's called. Some very nice summer pastel colorways. I think sold out. Unfortunately, websites I've seen, you can definitely track them down if they come see them on End or uh, BSTN possibly, could be wrong. So Adidas, if you don't want to go on the route of the Samba, you want to be a little bit different, there's definitely Adidas alternatives that will do the job. Like I said, Gazelles, Speciales, as well as some very nice colorways in those models, some good collabs, um, some very rare ones. The Adidas sneaker community. Um, I just see on Instagram a lot of people have some crazy collections and I've seen some really cool pairs that are just not really attainable for most people as they've been released in the previous years and etc etc. So Adidas, Sambas, very trendy but 
in my opinion, a very timeless shoe that's just gonna be around for forever probably. Now going back to the bottoms, but not the shorts, not really a summer trend, but personally I think it's definitely coming back and that is raw denim. Um, I know Drew has made a lot of videos, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube on his raw denim, his experience, definitely go check that out if you haven't. But I'm a big fan of raw denim, I like it a lot. I know back in like the 20, early 2010s or early 2000s, late 2000s, whatever, uh, raw denim was very popular, uh, Japanese raw denim, etc. And I think people kind of went away from that, especially with the skinny jean phase. And now you see a lot of people wearing the light wash denim. But I think raw denim is making a comeback. Uh, if you're into denim, then obviously you know all about it. I'm not going to talk too much about it because it is summer and raw denim can typically be a little thick and heavy and rigid. but. Um, raw denim, I think we'll see a bigger comeback in the fall and winter. Personally, I'm here for it. I love the raw denim, especially if you take good care of it and it fades nicely. You can just, you can really tell when the person cares for their denim and I love that. Now, one thing that I ha did see on a couple articles that I found interesting was menswear. Personally, in my side of TikTok or Instagram, I don't really see menswear too much. I would say maybe more of like a casual, chill, laid back type of menswear. Um, um, I know ties have been very popular, the Prada ones of course, things like that. But I don't really see it as much on my page or whatever. Maybe like a dress shirt with some shorts and like loafers or something. So take aspects of the menswear and kind of dumb it down, make it more a little bit, not necessarily dumb it down, but make it more street wear oriented if that makes sense. So like a sweater vest and then some, some, sh some baggy shorts and like a loafers or a sneaker, I think is a very good look. Um, you got like the collar t-shirt with the sweater over top, no, summer. No one's really gonna wear a sweater too much, but something like that. Not necessarily just like a blazer and a tie or anything like that, but menswear, to an extent for me personally, I know definitely people are out there wearing that stuff, but personally I don't really see it as much. So for me, it's not as big of a trend as some people make it out to be, if that makes sense. Now I'll talk about bloke core real quick. Obviously last summer it had its big moment in the spotlight for a few months, I wanna say probably towards the end of the summer and then it really died off in the winter. But I've seen a lot of people bring back the football shirts this summer already and I think it's going to continue along as the summer goes on into the fall as well. And obviously with the World Cup that just happened in December, I think a lot of people were paying more attention to it I would say. And like I said, I've seen a lot of people bring out the jerseys and the football shirts on TikTok, Instagram this year, continuing on from last summer. But I, I haven't seen it really take off as it did last summer, but it's definitely there if you're looking for it and you follow people that trying to like the more streetwear side of things. And one last thing is Gorpcore, but not necessarily Arcteryx, jackets, shorts, etc. I'm just talking about sunglasses. So like Oakley, District Vision, the ones that come to mind. I know Oakley has had a huge resurgence in the past maybe year to half a year, I wanna say, uh, in large part due to Braindead as well, helping them out with their Oakley factory team and they're doing an amazing job with the footwear. And now they're starting to bring out some more glasses, they're getting collaborations like the Satisfy Running collab, the Palace collaboration I thought was very good. I, I was a big fan of the Palace collab personally. Some people didn't like it, some people thought it was boring, but personally I liked it. I used to ride dirt bikes, I used to mountain bike. Back when I was growing up and that collab just kind of brought back a lot of nostalgia with the Skull and Crossbones logo and stuff like that. So particularly I would say the Oakley sunglasses are quite trendy. I see a lot of people wearing them on Instagram, like the speed or the running sunglasses or whatever. Personally, I use them for running. Uh, I want to get back into mountain biking, so I'm going to use them biking, golfing, etc. I know Oakley was bought by, I forget what company it was a long time ago, they kind of took them downhill, but I like to see the resurgence they're making. I'm an Oakley fan. I like what they do, especially in the extreme sports category side of things, so I think it's cool they're getting some mainstream recognition. So there's some summer trends that I thought I would talk about real quick. Um, if you have any more that you'd like me to talk about maybe in the future, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.